Hey, buddy, watch this. If I had to guess uh, Raza stuff, right? Highlander Raza stuff, which again is based on damage outs. So we might just be able to out armor this one. Can we get enough armor to outlast the priest? Oh, the Tog Priest. Oh, I saw that. How does that work? Murzon stuff, I think, maybe? Could we beat a Tog Priest? We'd have to save some Dead Man's Hand action, I think, to beat a Tog Priest. I think he played to the end because lately sometimes if you concede, it doesn't count. To yeah. Your daily quest I have, is that right? Reason. I haven't heard that. No, I, I think he was a champ for sure playing to the end. I have mad respect there. I like people to play it out. Mind if I roll Always hard respect on playing it out. All right, I think our goal is going to be to hit the button as much as possible. Does this, does the loot hoarder though read Tog Priest or uh, Raza Priest, guys? So we can get a feel for it. I hope you like my invention. Mm, Aces Replay doesn't seem to have a Tog Priest list up, so I won't have any data on that. There's no Tog Priest. Master, master. Button every turn seems vital. We'll have mana later for shield blocks. Tog usually runs quest. Oh, okay, good to know. Are you avoiding Legend this season? Not avoiding, no. Um, I might hit it tonight. We hit rank three earlier today, just accidentally. So, I don't know. It feels like it's pretty easy, perhaps, to just push it out later. It just does not matter to me. How many times you have to do it before it stops mattering, you know? 47 times, 50 times, 100 times. Just no biggie. It's not that serious, bro. Talking to me? I know, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I agree, it's not that serious. That's my point. Um, This feels bad, not killing an Emperor Thorson immediately. But... I don't know the punish is that big. It's pretty big probably, but not not insane. If he wants to go Anduin here, he kills his own Thorison. How will we ever survive? None shall Psyche split, we're in trouble. Oh god, Psyche split would have been bad. You're right, that's scary. This Let's go brawl here. Come to darkness and anything with Thorson. 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 Hey, I won. Uh, this month I succumbed to darkness and reached Legend with Demon Hunter. I don't think that's bad. Uh, Demon Hunter's not even like the strongest deck right now, so. Ah, you've hit Legend with all 10 classes. Interesting. I don't even know if I've done that. I've never thought to track it. Huh. I bet I've never hit Legend with Rogue. Well, we hit uh, a Wild Legend with Rogue. I bet I've never hit Legend with Priest. Or did I last month? Did I play Highlander Temple Priest to Legend? Hmm. I don't know. Is burning cards worth it, guys? I don't know. Again, I don't know. Maybe. Take cover. I don't like this that much. My hand is full. <laughs> Confirmed it's good. My hand is unmistaked. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. Burning cards is good. What? What? <laughs> Shadow and Pain is on! <laughs> oh god! Oh god, he Shadow and Pain is on! <laughs> did he burn Anduin? He did. He did. First try. <laughs> delightful okay uh, oh that was beautiful that was the prettiest thing i've ever seen geppetto does he have any kind of fatigue protection in the stack like uh benedictus or something i mean i, I doubt that's standard maybe he runs something like that but I, I would imagine that's never normal to see i think we just take a, a kind of a justicar passer in here he probably removes the justicar very efficiently and then does something crazy and we play for the brawl next turn. 
We have enough life that I think we can make those sorts of plays, right? And honestly, as soon as we find like a warpath or a risky zipper, we have even more life. So. It is Raza Priest, but uh, it's not Anduin Priest because we burned his his Anduin. <laughs> Just Raza. <laughs> Uh. Okay, death. Kind of hoping he committed more to the board here. We might just get by with a shield slam, honestly. Just chill on the, Randu on the brawl. Ink. Randuin incoming. Old school Randuin. Action. Okay. Let's just do our thing. Actually, you know, Dry Whisker is pretty good here, too. Pretty nice from an on-curve standpoint. Uh, Scrap Golem trades a little better into the Raza, but the Belcher eats the Azurjig too, maybe. I don't know, go on this guy for playing it out too, man. People play it out in, uh, I mean, we don't know what his rank is, right? He might, we're nine bonus, our, our bonus was nine stars. Not incoming incorporated, learn your acronyms. This is a pretty <laughs> standard one. <laughs> Randuin Incorporated, got it, let's see. Um, Neither of those are acronyms, by the way. <laughs> They're abbreviations. <laughs> In either instance, it would be an abbreviation, not an acronym. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play around this. I mean, God knows how many. I, don't, I just don't imagine him having a lot of threats, and we already have a brawl anyway, so it should be okay. Uh, as soon as I go other dead man's hand, I think I'm probably going to shuffle those cold lights in. That way we can go infinite and then just fatigue him out to death. And we have 65 life, so who cares? Geppetto, Mechathune stuff. Uh, the deck list I saw on Aces Replay, none were running Mechathune, but you never know. This could be his weird way to beat Armor Warrior. Mass Hysteria, just to dump a card. Now that's funny, and we actually hit the dead man's hand. We cold light... It's not really the best shuffle, right? We my could have had some distinctly better shuffles, but oh my god, imagine Risky Skipper right now. <laughs> imagine my the Risky Skipper. Mind Blast is gone, okay. What little combo or reach he had may be gone now. He plays this out so I can pull off this Risky Skipper play and gets like 100 armor. That's my main goal. Uh, well, that Oracle will certainly give it a lot more punch, though. That's for sure. Is this guy streaming or something too? Like talking all of his plays through? Is that why it's roping every turn or are we getting DM'd? Dead man's hand again. Um, do we shuffle this in again? Just get even more armor smith draws? No, I want to wait. We don't really need to yet. There's other things we could shuffle in like Nazoths and stuff that are more impactful maybe. So we can just chill. DM stands for bad manners or sometimes depending on the context, bowel movement. Generally, we're talking about bad manners. We... we we do not think our opponent is bow movementing us too often. <laughs> His whole hand and deck here are just going to be a lot of cheap spells. That's it. That's all he's going to have, right? Argat's certainly a little better to shuffle, I think. Uh, please give me a risky sipper, God, or Warpath, whatever. Warpath would be fun too. Kazakus, anything that can bail you out? I don't see how. When he gets 200. I feel like we'd still be in a great position even if he'd gotten that Anduin. I just don't think he could have chipped us enough. We just have so much life, right? How could he have ever chipped us enough? Okay, this is pretty sick. Pretty crazy games. So I'm up to 18 cards in deck. I have two, no, no well, one more in his off, one in deck. Another Kargath in deck, which means I really have two more Kargath shuffles. The Kargath shuffles give me even more. The Nazoth gives me even more Kargath shuffles. So I basically have something like, well, I can go infinite forever with Deadman's Hand, but even if I didn't cast another Deadman's Hand, I think I'd still have the potential to have like 24 cards in deck or something insane. Some crazy amount of draws. So it is straight up just Mechathune. Which, I mean, he's playing it out, so maybe there's a Mechathune. I don't know. 
I don't know. If, if we lose to Megathune, mad props to this guy is all I got to say. He's a hero. Oh, he could try to play for Dead Man's Hand there um, to give him some time. It still, I don't think, would win him the game, but give him some time at least. He can't get two because I have one in hand. Oh, wait, though. Actually, if I shuffle two extra in hand, no, I only have one in hand ever because I draw the fresh one and then, yeah. Impossible to... Oh, I wanted that, man. Oh, my God, he's playing my combo. What a jerk, dude. Why freeze that if you're going to kill it anyway, I wonder. Not the only way to heal. Did you try combo Dead man's hand again. in your channel. Again. Again. Uh, no, we never played Combo Demon Hunter. It, it always seemed kind of boring to me, to be honest. I don't know. It got solved, like, pretty early, and then it just never... It never caught my eye. I don't know. Now we just kind of went on board, which is sad. I can't pull off my armor smith shenanigans. Oh! Well... Never mind, he got a brawl. He got Risky Skipper and Brawl. So I have... I could play Risky Skipper four armor smiths here, guys. That's what could happen. We don't have them all yet. Oh my god, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I don't care, I'm going. It's not even good, but I just want to do it. <laughs> I just want to do it. Um... <laughs> Look at it go! Look at it go! Trying to four Oh, it's delightful. Incoming really? Megathun. Incoming Megathun, right? <laughs> oh, it's delightful. If he has Megathun, dude, I'm I am outraged. Uh, let's go ahead and shuffle this cold light in. Um I'm actually going to double shuffle. We obviously don't need... Well, no, that exposes me to Benedictus, actually. Never mind. I could lose off of a Benedictus if I do that. Okay. Does he have Megathune, dude? Am I dead to Megathune? I'm going to be outraged. No, we were playing Druid Pog Outraged. Champ. Yeah, I know, right? 98 armor. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's just some Melon combo that we denied earlier. Okay. That's not a problem. I don't think he can beat me now. Okay. We are drawing the dead man's hands like alarmingly often. Hi YouTube lol. 112 armor. Reno. He had to play Reno or he's dead, probably right. Although no, actually, we did quite have it. 126 armor. If he plays Megadu now, I just don't let him kill it, right? Like, if he's somehow running it, I just pass forever. Playing the Cargath was, like, a little risky, because he could have maybe let the Megathune kill it somehow. And I still have 19 cards in deck. This is so stupid. I mean, I think we get here even if the Anduin was alive, right? I don't think we this game ends without... Uh, I think Anduin cannot deal this much damage. I mean, obviously we wouldn't have gotten this high because the breakpoints would have changed and he would have been chipping us down the whole time, but uh, we still would have gotten a lot of armor. The Velen stuff, I just don't think it could have done enough. He wasn't creating enough pressure, right, for that to matter. What is this last card? Oh, okay, so there was some combo shenanigans afoot. Cool suicide, at least. 138 armor at the end there. Woo! I don't even think there's any way for me to get through all this stuff. If he plays a big, crazy mech start, I think I'm just done, right? Shield Slam's interesting. It can help me clear one big mech thing. But without a Devolve-style card... Oh, it's just Odd. Okay, Odd, I think we have a better shot against. Odd, I think I can beat. Not going to be easy, but I can beat Odd. Oh. Can just gain a lot of life against Odd Warrior. Uh, this is not time for Dry Whisker yet. It's gonna have much more upside later, I think. Didn't know you were a wild player? Yeah, we fiddle with it from time to time. It's usually Long just top. when the expansions get older. I don't like to do it right away normally. Wait a little while on expansions to get exciting.
trying to think about what all odd paladin is running I, I, you know i haven't played wild much so I, i'm guessing turn six now for level up is level up now six mana is that even right I'm losing it here a little bit level up went to six right saying you can't play six mana doesn't help me that's not what i'm asking i'm asking if it got moved to six <laughs> so but i need a warpath now because of, of quartermaster on five is what i'm getting at uh, it was nerfed to six okay that's what i thought i needed, I needed a reminder i remember being on a podcast when it got nerfed and saying exactly what you just said Somebody's like, it's going to slow down on Paladin so much. And I was like, well, yeah, it's not going to be played. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be slowed down a fair bit. It's going to be really different. Oh, Quarter Creeper. Okay. Intriguing. Is that the Shield Slam target? <sighs> My plays right now just feel very strange and weak. I don't, I don't love our plays. All right. I actually probably need some cold light or I obviously don't love giving my opponent cold lights, but... I just need stuff to play. Oh man, I think I went too soon on the warpath. Jeez. Kinda had to though, right? For the quartermaster breakpoint. I think I had to. Armor Smith again. I'm gonna chill on these armor smiths. I think we can do better. We have a lot of health, so I've got some time. Uh, but I really wanna find that risky skipper. You know? Show me that risky skipper. Plague of Wrath? Just to clear a 2-3? I don't think that's very good. Four Al to clear a 2-3, also pretty weak though. Turnium Rover is probably a good card. Do I just drop a Turnium Double Armor Smith? One Armor Smith dies to the Vine Cleaver pretty, pretty tidy, but the other one chills. <laughs> this is what I'm doomed for. An eternity of Gordo Creeper. I think I gotta do this, unfortunately. Uh, uh, I would like the big payoff later, but uh, I mean, I, I think this heals at least five, actually six, because the other armor smith, everything. He might create some space that these trade a little better, I guess. I don't know. Order, maybe? Just gave me an extra four armor. Maybe some order there. Not buffing these. What is about to happen? How about a no oh, just faceless to trade. Um, you still could have done that before trading in the other dudes there. Oh, Plague of Wrath got way better all of a sudden. And a Warpath follow-up. Okay. Cool. The Zoth currently has one minion in it, the Scrap Golem. But by God, it might still be a good play. <laughs> Might actually be okay. <laughs> Believe it or not. Might still be decent. Might be okay. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Remember Zero Mana 5-5 five, five Creeper? Oh yeah, Reporting of course. Who doesn't if you played during that time? My god. Insanely powerful. So I think this is actually a pretty good Gore Howl armor turn. Leaving him with one minion basically means he can't quite complete his quest. Um, one slot, I should say, because his, his quest goes to four, assuming he can't kill his own stuff. If he goes for a big quartermaster buff or whatever, like, yeah, we take a lot of damage, but then we just clear with Warpath. So I don't think I'm unhappy necessarily. If he doesn't do that, we meant Warpath anyway, just to keep all this stuff in check. Might be able to get away with just a car hero power, though, depending on the break points. He clearly currently does not have a quartermaster. That much is obvious. Um, I can't play Cold Light without clearing the minions because then I give him too much follow-up. I'm actually going to do that. I think it's important to get the, get the Cold Light out here. We'll find Risky Skippers and stuff too, so I think we'll have... And, and just taunts and everything. This just allows me to keep the hand moving. I mean, I, I hate giving him stuff, but we'll be okay, I think. Famous last words. Now Nazoth becomes pretty powerful with the Golem and the Belcher. So just Belcher, Rover, Hero Power here is pretty good. These two get buffed, the other two are chill. Just clear these, no problem. 
Another righteous oh, cause, Baku himself. Okay, Baku is actually kind of annoying to deal with. Yeah, it's double time here to set up for the Nazathos. Perfect, I think. Baku gets softened up by the taunt. He gets some more life. Nazoth now has three good minions in it, which is more than enough to make me happy. That's uh, a really, really big stabilization board. I don't know if he's running any kind of clear qualities gone, right? You could run no Legion of Justice to six mana. There's nothing to really run anymore, huh? Reporting for duty. Probably gonna face tank that Baku, Reporting right? Reporting for duty. Yeah, why not? Reporting for duty. Quest is done. Oh yeah, it goes to eight, so that's a little harder to tank, but still fine. Still not the end of them. Uh the Belcher didn't die, so Nazoth. Arguably a little worse. We could go Justicar instead and wait a turn. Try to get a lot of value. Justicar is still pretty good, I guess. Ugh, that does make my Belcher trades feel a little worse. Another Belcher? Sure. Let's do that instead. That makes uh, our buddy Nazoth even better. Wish we could have killed the Warhorse, right? But the, the the damage here is a little bit scarier short term, and but yeah, I think I think the character represented by the Hearthstone card is is indeed a female moon snake dragon thing, of some kind. Based on uh, like Filipino lore, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty sick looking design. I always thought Baku looks awesome. The artwork on Baku is just like top notch. Nazoth is actually a bit annoying. Can't get through to the Warhorse just yet, but Nazoth is going to stabilize just fine. All right. Blessing of Might on the. Ooh. This is so much better. Oh my god. Okay. This works too. I keep finding things to do that are just objectively better than Nazoth. What do you want me to do? <laughs> it's just like it's so many good plays, man. All right, surely we're out of the weeds now. Like, what could possibly happen next? Divine Favor's garbage if that's a card. I don't have any cards myself. I do actually almost feel like the Cold Light Oracles still don't give me enough cards off, despite, you know. Two arms, We're out of cards again. We just keep running out of cards. Okay. Um, Dead Man's Hand on the Nazoth. I, there's just no urgency here at all. I have plenty of health. Um, I think we're just going to Dead Man's Hand only Nazoth. Um, oh, never surrender. Okay, so order. Thank God. Got the order right for once. And it just doesn't, you know, there's just no hurry. He only has four damage on board anyway, and I healed for four. So it's like, what's the hurry? I see. That doesn't stop us off. So perfect timing, frankly, to get the dead man's hand out. Okay, we shuffled in one extra card, team. Way to go. Way to go, everybody. Okay, this is definitely play. Does this ever force to concede, we think? This is basically always going to be a 1-1 eater now. It's very unlikely to get anything at three that matters at this stage. I mean, I guess a quarter master buffs minion, but happy to just eat some one once, I think. Hello! Hello! It does indeed force the concede. Okay, so we need on Paladin. That's a good sign. Uh, I think I'm going to need a lot of armor here to outlast what Quest Mage can present. Need some armor. Survive that two slash three turn push. It's gonna take a lot. Ooh, this is actually secret mage, which also I'm gonna be armor for it, so. In either scenario. One more month and well reach two years. Man time flies. Pretty happy. Gimden Buddha! It feels 23 like yesterday months. yesterday when I first discovered the magnificent beard. Thanks, Gimden Buddha, dude. That's amazing. Welcome. Is this enough life gain? Make some room by the heart, Hope so. Is this too early? I don't know. I don't know. What is that secret? Oh, explosive runes. No! Oh, well, this just chills the contest. Okay, well, that 
That is also awesome. <laughs> That's just fine. <laughs> Alright, we gotta wait, I think. I'm gonna try this I don't know how many minions mage is ever really gonna present in secret maze, but I could imagine like three or four being a thing pretty regularly. Uh, favored here, but I feel like we have a shot to play this close to even, don't we? I'm gonna use this before a potential uh, counter spell comes down. Something like that. As good a card graph as any other, as far as I can tell. Alright, we're up to 37. What do we think? 50 damage? 60? I mean, I don't know what the total damage output is, but surely we have enough armor to outlive it. I mean, it's really just like, you know, if he can get... I guess there's really no cap on the damage, because he could stick a bunch of minions, and then if those minions all survive... And, and get a ton of chip damage, then clearly his damage output goes higher. Um, my thought is he probably doesn't get that much chip damage out here, but we'll see. Warpath leaves up a Luna here, unfortunately. Think makes it pretty bad. I think we just dry whisker into scrap gold. I'm not thrilled about leaving up the Luna, but. This contest the board checks the mirror entity slash explosive runes on a weaker minion. Um, so it has some value there. Uh, just to grow armor up, I guess, is pretty solid. Worst case, turn eight. I mean, I wouldn't want to play that into a giant board or anything. Oh, I love fireball sitting minions. That's a good sign. I mean, he is getting some chip damage through out of it, so it probably sells some upside for him, but. Oh my god, excuse me. Oh, I'm dying. Can I go ahead and risk the warpath here? Part of me thinks this is a count, uh, not a counter spell, but a, but probably like an ice block. Uh, Prince Persona recently discovered Instagram. Initially, had no idea you were a giant before that. Yeah, most people don't realize my size. A lot of people think I'm like short for some reason or another. Uh, I'm actually rather tall, gigantic, in every capacity of the word. Oh, three secrets is scary. I think I got a brawl here. So I think we're gonna dead man's hand, see what happens on this secret. And then hopefully brawl into a, a, either not a five five or not a two four, right? Uh, Warpath isn't quite enough. So I think it's gotta be the brawl. But yeah, like pictures of, of like, ah, uh, I mean, I get, oh, that's actually kind of nasty. I guess, in the scheme of things, I don't necessarily mind him drawing a ton of cards. Like, it, it, it accelerates the damage output, but does maybe help me win the game with fatigue sooner and, and kind of denies LNF value. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad. I look like a Tolkien dwarf. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, maybe people don't realize I'm actually gigantic. Well, we know the counterspell. I mean, well, we don't know. There could be another counterspell, I guess. Oh god, so many secrets. Stop. Stop, bro. I want to be able to play this warpath, but... Oh, okay, I can test the shield slam. Oh, thank god, okay. Um... Alright, warpath it is. Ooh. Does this ever put a counter spell into play? No, we had two. That's the duplicate. Oh, Netherwind Portal, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, no! Are you serious? I mean, I guess this... I just never kill this. It doesn't really matter. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't really protect against fatigue, because if we get to the point where this is his only card, I just leave it alive and I out-armor it forever. So that's fine, actually. Uh, okay, so Nazoth currently has Kargath and a Scrap Golem, which honestly isn't too bad. I think that might be something I'm willing to play. I don't love it yet, but I could also go just car, but I'm leaving up quite a bit of damage in that case. I think I'd rather just car got this 4-4, set up the scrap golem taunt. Anything else in this? I really wish I had one more minion in it, but it is what it is for now. This is also really good against explosive runes, if that's what that is, because I don't take any damage out of it. I don't really care about the Zoth anyway, so it's sort of perfect. I need to draw one of these car got primes soon, man. Still at 25, he's down to 11 total cards. 
Um, still another fireball, another cloud prince is 12 damage. Okay, that's actually good though that that's hitting minions still. I like that. I need to enable this with like a risky skipper or a warpath again. That would be delightful. God. Plague of Wrath, but I don't have an activator right now. I am getting really spooked, guys. I'm really scared. I feel like we could lose. Leaving nine damage on board is not ideal. Just give me a Kargath Prime and we'll call it a day, man. It's as simple as that. I have so many great draws. So many great draws. Um, so Fireball is his biggest piece of reach right Major's now. Mini's Valet, that's cards. nine damage. Just one more Valet and one um, more Fireball. 5,050 on Pyroblast. Yeah. You got this Regis. Yeah, but, but look how low we are. We don't even clear these minions right now. I don't even have an answer to these at the moment. Warpath is absolutely freaking insane right now. <laughs> oh, baby. That is a good draw. That is the game winner right there, folks. That is the game winner. I don't even attack with the attorney rover because I just don't care about his face damage at all. And it could be a flame ward that messes up my armor smith. So no need to do that uh actually i could attack here as well and Welcome. then i can armor up for even extra armor let's we'll do that instead That's the best bet. okay so back to 30. now i think the game is over i think that draw was it that did it Woo! <laughs> oh my god oh i just gained so much freaking life oh my god wow we have many okay. secrets. That's irrelevant. Welcome to the grand He's got a conceit here, right? Channel. This has to be the conceit. I'm up to 35 again. You're not ready for this. You're He's next sometimes on duplicate. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah, I, I just don't know that that would even have enough in it, though. Like, what would he duplicate now that even matters? I don't know. Um, Brawl is honestly probably as good as it's gonna get right three minions is actually quite a few and then hero power denies the damage of whatever's left okay he's down to, i mean i'm assuming one of these cards is probably an lnf and he's down to six cards total i, I just don't see how he does 34 damage in six cards excuse there's me there's just no way you are on fire. i respect the effort i'm glad he's trying good old tubby steve you know, we're brothers, <laughs> but I, I mean, I guess there's some logic if he has this um, death battle here that he thinks he can like out the me or whatever. Um, like I said, though, we'll just get to a point where we just leave that alive. <laughs> we just don't ever kill it. <laughs> we just normalize. He, he would have max four damage per turn. I'd heal four per turn and um, An we would just leave it on board until he died from fatigue. So there will come a point where that's irrelevant. Fireball the Belcher is great news. Already. What happened here? I think this is what did I miss while I was spending my I mean, I guess I kind of have to clear these minions styles. at some point, but hopefully Kargath Prime or Sludge Belcher or whatever will do that. The advanced hand is annoyingly actually rather weak. We assume that secret is what? Ice block and maybe that's finally the duplicate? I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, sorry, dude. I do still kind of need, like, that's what I needed. Okay, this is the conceit, right? Well, what if this is a uh, mirror entity? I guess that's okay. I just kill the Kargath in my case, right? Let's wait a long time because God knows mirror entities here can be pretty wonky. Uh, this gets duplicated, I guess, which is a little annoying, but it doesn't really matter. The game is anyway. Oh, no, it did not get completed. What is that last secret? I guess barrier, probably, or flame ward, maybe? Probably flame ward, right, I guess. Probably a flame ward. Max respect to my opponent for playing this out, despite me having a bajillion armor. Um, okay, that's a million damage. To his face. Okay, okay. Cool. Just gonna play this. 
Good shuffle too, but we don't know. Game's over. He can kill the Kargath now. Um, we play this guy next turn when he draws it. But, like I said, we just need to get to some point where that just doesn't have anything to... In fact, that point has already arrived. So this is now, we just don't play any more cards. He cannot deal damage to me. He deals exactly four every turn. I heal for exactly four every turn. And we've entered a stalemate where I cannot lose. So his hand must be Alaneth, Ancient Mysteries, and that Death Rattle dude. So... Just, he now just dies. Uh, it could be more fun to replay a Kargath, but we just don't need to. <laughs> we just don't need to. How much armor did you gain this this game? I don't know, man. A lot. I mean, we were we we were at like 20 armor earlier, and I've gained 40 since it went back down to zero. So some just ungodly amount. I wish somebody would count it. Um, I don't know what it is. So he's dead next turn. Cool. Ooh. That, <laughs> we, <laughs> the game got hairy though. That Warpath top deck kind of saved us, I have to say. No need to I have be to sorry. Say. Tenor is not that much really. We're back to 46 here at the end. He's dead as soon as they hit the button, so. Cool. Woo! Scary stuff.